Hi everyone, another video on vector spaces for you in which we'll deal with bases and coordinates of vectors with respect to them. We'll see how to obtain the coordinates of a vector with respect to a basis and vice versa, how from the coordinates of a vector we can obtain a representation of the vector, in this case in R3. We'll consider the basis B of R3 as shown here. We know it's a generator system of R3 that's formed by linearly independent vectors. Given the vector V, which is 2, 1, minus 1, we'll calculate its coordinates with respect to basis B. And for vector W, of which we know its coordinates with respect to B, we'll obtain the expression of this vector as a vector of R3. First, to calculate the coordinates of V with respect to the basis. As vector V, minus 2, 1, minus 1, is a vector of R3, and B is a basis of R3, we know it's a generator system of R3. So we have that 2, 1, minus 1 is a linear combination of B. Therefore, we can say that 2, 1, minus 1 equals alpha times 0, 0, minus 1, plus beta times 0, minus 1, 2, plus gamma times minus 1, 2, minus 1, for certain values of alpha, beta, and gamma. We already know that since B is the basis, these values are unique, and they're the coordinates of V with respect to B that we have to calculate. Now, if we calculate this expression, we have alpha times 0, 0, minus 1, which is 0, 0, minus alpha, plus beta times 0, minus 1, 2, which is 0, minus beta, 2 beta, plus gamma times minus 1, 2, minus 1, which is minus gamma, 2 gamma, minus gamma. So for the sum, if we add component by component, we get this result. Look at the first and last elements of this chain of equalities and equate component to component. We get that minus gamma equals two, minus beta plus two gamma equals one, and minus alpha plus two beta minus gamma equals minus one. To get the values of alpha, beta, and gamma, we have to solve this system, which is easy to do. From the first equation, we get right away that gamma is equal to minus two. So we substitute minus two for gamma in the second equation. There it is. Then we operate giving minus beta plus two times minus two, which is minus four, equals one. So minus beta equals one plus four, which is five. Therefore, beta equals minus five. We substitute gamma equals minus two and beta equals minus five in the third equation, and there it is. We work this out and get that minus alpha plus two times minus five, which is minus 10, minus minus two, which is plus two, equals minus one. So we have minus alpha minus 10 plus two, which is minus eight, equals minus one. Therefore, minus alpha equals minus one plus eight, which is seven. So alpha equals minus seven. The coordinates of V with respect to the basis B are alpha, beta, and gamma, or as we now know, the coordinates are minus seven, minus five, minus two. We can express this as V is equal to minus seven, minus five, minus two B, where the B indicates that these are the coordinates with respect to basis B. Now let's move on to W. We have that the coordinates of W with respect to basis B are minus one, minus one, two. So when expressing W as a linear combination of B, these are the coefficients. Thus we obtain, operating here, this would be minus one times zero, zero, minus one, which is zero, zero, one, plus minus one times 
0 minus 1, 2, which is 0, 1, minus 2, plus 2 times minus 1, 2, minus 1, which is minus 2, 4, minus 2. And if we calculate this sum, adding component by component, we obtain minus 2, 5, minus 3. So, we have that W is minus 2, 5, minus 3, and we say this is the representation of W as a vector in R3. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon to discover more maths.